All right, so good evening. Welcome back to JPCE, Spiritual Talk, Share Campbell. Link is in the description box. Update from War 24-7 News. All right, what's going on in the war in Ukraine? So the headline on this one, it says, Huge explosion in Zodomir. Cluster bomb warehouse hit. Hmm. Hundreds of German and Polish soldiers dead in Lviv. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, right? Like I said, according to the Russian Defense Ministry, we have killed 5,000 mercenaries so far. Their words, not mine. All right, let's jump into this. It says, with, with an extraordinary announcement, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced the death of hundreds of soldiers, mercenaries, instructors, instructors of the Ukrainian army from Poland and Germany. This is an unusual move by the Russian Ministry of Defense as the announcement concerns the mega strike that took place on July 6 at the Academy of Ground Forces in the end of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in Lviv. I've talked about this before. It's one of, probably one of my first videos, I think. The delayed announcement, according to Russian sources, is due to confirmation of the death of several foreign soldiers. The first information spoke of 800 dead and wounded. Read what War 24-7 News had revealed on July 6. All right, so I'm going to post the link, right? Because I did a video on this. It was one of, probably one of my first videos. So I'm going to go ahead and repost that link in the description box. You guys can take a look at that one. I also have it on YouTube. I don't think it's on Rumble. I think it's on YouTube. It could be on Rumble. But. Let's continue reading. It says. It should be noted that an extremely large explosion occurred. After a Russian drawn two drone strike. In the Zodomir region. The beating happened two days ago. But the video was leaked only today. A warehouse was hit with cluster bombs. So hundreds dead from Poland and Germany. Rockets by the Russian armed forces killed a large number of mercenaries, trainers, and others from Poland and Germany and, L and Lviv. The details of the, ma of, the ma of the massive missile strike carried out by caliber cruise missile became known only today. According to the statement issued by the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation on July 22nd, the objectives of the mission were successfully achieved. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, Russian forces hit the infrastructure installation of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in Lviv on the night of July 6th. All right, I've covered this. The building was a station for four mercenaries and trainers. The sudden attack took the enemy by surprise. According to the confirmed data, a large number of mercenaries from Poland and Germany who were there were killed at the Academy of Ground Forces, the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Foreigners were accommodated based within the educational institution. We remind you that the attack was carried out by the ships of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Navy. At the base, there were instructors specializing in combat techniques, de detonation of mines, sabotage, and other related military specialties from various countries. Many foreign soldiers lived on the premises. Russian Ministry of Defense. Right? So according to the Russian Ministry of Defense, they have killed 5,000 mercenaries so far. Right? That's what they're claiming. So it's what they're claiming. Just reading articles, giving you guys information. So it goes on to say, at the same time, according to the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in the context of the failure of the plans to mobilize and conceal heavy losses of the armed forces of Ukraine, Kiev has intensified the recruitment of mercenaries from Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. In particular, we're talking about Argentina and Brazil, Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as areas of Syria controlled by the Americans. The Russian Ministry of Defense reports on Telegram. In the U.S. and Canada, recruitment activities are also intensifying. The project, the project is carried out through Ukrainian foreign institutions with the help of Western intelligence. Services mainly the CIA and private military companies controlled by it, the Russian military department said. Since the start of the Russian Special Operation Ukraine, 11,675 foreign mercenaries from 84 states have, have officially arrived in the country to, to, to participate in the hostilities on the side of Kiev, the defense ministry said. Right. It's according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Okay. 
The Russian Ministry of Defense noted that on June 30th, the death of 4,845 mercenaries was confirmed. 4,801 4, mercenaries escaped from Ukraine. Now there's only 2,029 mercenaries in the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine. Previously, the most, ner the most numerous group arrived in Poland. Over 2.6 thousand people. From the USA and Canada, 900 or more people. From the, was it the country of Georgia, over 800 people. As well as Great Britain and Romania, 700 or more people each. Okay. According to the information obtained during interrogations of captured soldiers, the commanders of the armed forces of Ukraine are not held responsible for casualties among foreign mercenaries. The evacuation of wounded mercenaries from the front line from the front lines is organized only after the removal of Ukrainian soldiers. I guess that makes sense, right? No one from the Ukrainian administration spares them. The mercenaries' lives, therefore, they have only one choice, escape from Ukraine or die, the Ministry of Defense said. Dang, that's not good. For the fifth day in a row, Russian drawn twos attacked Ukrainian targets. On the evening of July 22nd, the Russian, the Russian armed forces again carried out a massive strike on Ukrainian targets using drawn two kamikaze drones. After 1.30 a.m., the Ukrainian military began reporting an airstrike alert in significant num number of areas. The appearance of drawn twos was noted in the Dino Provox, Kharkiv, Odessa, Nikola, and Kyrograd regions, as well as the ter territories of Donstek, Kherson, and Zaporizhia, regions controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine. All right, and that's where it's going to end, this article. So I'm going to stop there. So on here, it has a video of the explosion, right? It's in a video. So I encourage all of you to click on the link, right? You can see the video and the explosion, all right? If you're not able to translate it, you can still watch the videos. Like I said, and see the, the, the photos. But Google Chrome helps with the translation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end right here. So this was the newest article that came out from War 24-7 News, right? So they hit a cluster bomb warehouse, right? So that's what they hit, All right? And that was according, like I said, to the Russian Defense Ministry. Like I said, it's, it's what they're saying, right? And I'm just relaying the information, right? I love you all so much. Thank you all for following. This is the last video for today. I'm going to take a break, right? Pick back up tomorrow morning. I love you all so much. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be merciful to you. The Lord let the best countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages, amen. The Lord is our shepherd. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. All right? Seek him. All right? It's not about religion. It's a relationship. All right? It really, truly is. I love you all so much. I'm out.